Assalamu alaikum dear students let's discuss that how the images can be formed by using a convex lens as we know that convex is a converging lens and in previous lecture we discussed some important terminologies that is the principal focus focal length the principal axis first of all look at the diagrams this is the principal axis in three of the diagrams convex lens is placed this o stands for the object and this i is for the image f shows the focal length the first case that is when object is placed at a distance beyond twice of the focal length of the lens twice means two this is the first focal length this is the second focal length where we place the object beyond the twice of the focal length it means here after refraction the image will be formed between the f and 2f the image should be real small and inverted the second case is that when object o is placed at the 2f as this diagram shows the object is placed at the 2f the images form at the same distance on the other side of the lens when the le object is placed on 2f after refraction the image will be formed at 2f that is of the same size as the object the image is real inverted as it produced by the convex lens and the same size of the object Let's see the third case. When the object is placed between 2f and f, the image is formed beyond 2f on the other side of the lens. As this diagram shows, when object is placed between 2f and f, after refraction, the image will be formed beyond the 2f. The image is real, inverted, and magnified. In all these three cases, the image will be real and inverted as they all produce by the convex lenses. The difference is just between between them is of the size of the image. The first one will be smaller, the second one is of the same size and the third one is magnified or large. Hope you listen the lecture carefully and understand how the images are produced by convex lens. Thank you.